hello everyone welcome back again to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to draft a mazi a ligand i'll be showing you two ways on how to draft that so this video is all about using just three body measurements so i'll be making use of shoulder to shoulder measurement ham hole shoulder to my boss and shoulder to under boss that i'll stop there then i'll be making use of my boss circumference my under boss circumference and i'll stop there so let's get that to it and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and like my video and share so in this video i'll be using my tape ruler my ruler my scissors my cuff to draft this pattern so the first thing i'm going to do here is this if you notice this pattern i'm going to keep this outside So, the first thing I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to show you something. This is a pattern paper, and this pattern paper, I left two inches for my zipper allowance for the back. It's totally totally up to you. If you don't want, if you don't want a zip, you can just fold it in like so. But if you want a zip, you just I'll, create two inches for your zip allowance so the first thing I'm going to do here is this I'm going to put my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is a uh, 16 divided by 2 I get 8 then I had half an inch to it I get eight and a half so what am I going to do here I'm going to on this line here you saw I draw a line here that will be my starting point so on that line I'm going to put behind the zipper allowance, behind the zipper allowance, you can see it's like this. So on that line here, I put 8.5 here. That's my shoulder to shoulder. Then on that same line, I'm going to put my neck which is going to be 3 inches. Then my neck depth is going to be 4 inches. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the cuff. So, on my shoulder here, I'm going to come down by 1 inch. Like so. Then I'll connect it, the shoulder slope from here to there. My ham hole is 6 inches from here. So I connect from here to there. So the next nice thing for me to do, I now connect this line here to the spot of my zip allowance here. That would now be my chest line. The next nice thing to do is to put in the straight body measurement. So from my shoulder there, I'll put the zip, uh, the tape measure. From my shoulder to my bust is eight inches. So. I click 8 inches here. From my shoulder to my under boss, it's 11 inches. I click 8 11 inches there. So, I'll connect the lines. So, having drawn this pattern, the next thing I forgot to measure here is this. Uh, the length of the dress is 32 inches. So, from my shoulder here, I'll put my tape measure. I'll go down like this. And I'll mark my the two inches here. Then I'm going to draw a straight line from there to there. So, how we done this? So this line here, this is my bust points line, and this line there is my under bust. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my bust strand measurement on my chest line measurement. So my bust line measurement is uh, the round measurement is 44 so if you divide by 4 by 4 what i get is 11. so if you, if you can put your chest round measurement on the chest line but i always prefer to put the bust line measurement on the chest line because of our bust so if you go here like this this is 11 like so then I connect this dot from here to there. 
so I find the mid spot of my ham hole the mid point my ham hole was six so the mid spot is three inches so from here it's three inches and I go in by half an inch here like so and I'll connect the cuff from here from here to this cuff here like so I'll connect from there then from there to that place so having done that because the 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 bust point measurement is 11 and my chest line I put it there as 11 so I'll just draw it down like so like this then the next thing I'm going to do here I'm going to add one and a half inch to it for my zipper allowance from here to there I'll connect from here to there and from there to there so now next to we'll go to my underboss my underboss measurement is at say divide by four what you have is 9.5 so I'll go here like this I have here is 9.5 here 9.5 I mark it down like so then I will add one and a half inch for ease of movement from here one and a half inch then I'll connect this line from there to there so now how we're we going to achieve the A-line magic dress is this you know the hip line measurement I didn't put hip line measurement here because I'm going to I decide to use just my boss point measurement and my under boss. So if you are folding your fabric, you use the highest measurement of your body to fold the fabric. And my hip line is 45, which is the highest measurement for my body circumference. So if you divide 45 by 4, what you get is 11.3. So that level point three is better you had you have a, you had up to seven inches to it so that will make it 17.3 inches so you'll be able to achieve your a-line massy dress so yeah unfold here is yeah unfold is 20 inches because it's the pattern paper so what i need for my uh for the for to achieve the a-line body dress is my hip line measurement so i had a six inches to my hip line which, which was a uh, level point three six inches plus level three point three gives me 70.3 so on my hip on my on my length of my dress here i'll go down like so so i'll look for 70.3 yeah like so 70.3 yeah I'll take my this thing. I'll mark it. This is seventeen point three. That's what I have here. So the next nice thing I'm going to do here is just to connect this dot here, straight down to the length of the dress, down this way. So I'm going to use my long ruler. Though my table is small, but I tend to manage it. So I'm going to my, I'm going to use my tape ruler like so. So connect this dot from there to this dot. So I'll just draw a straight line from here. Like so. So as you can see, you can see the, the shape of A-line dresses is already at line from here straight down. So the next step, if you want, if you want to have your the length of your dress to be curvy so what you simply do here is come up here by at the, le at the length of the dress come up by two inches here then you i'm going to create a curve from this place you see to this place i'm just going to i'll use my free hand to create the curve but if you have a curve ruler you can use a curve ruler but because my table is small, I'm using my free hand to connect it. So when you create a curve at the length of the dress, the dress will have a curvy shape. If you can notice the curvy shape at the bottom. So now you have done with this. Now we'll go to the back panel. 
remember the back panel have two inches for zipper allowance and for my back panel my neck depth is going to be two inches you can make yours one and a half it totally depends on you but i'm going to make two inches here two inches for my back panel so i'm going to create i just use my free hand again to create it we have a curve ruler you can use your curve ruler to create the curve for your back neck so um, the next thing to do is to create a curve for your ham hole for your back remember this this cloth this uh, pattern paper is on fold so I simply do it I'll go like the midpoint of the ham hole here I'm going to create the back ham hole for my back, back pa uh, pattern paper oh my table is so small oh okay sorry let me do it like this yeah I've got it now I'm just trying to manage this table okay so I've created my ham hole pattern for the back so the next thing I'm going to do here is to cut out the shape so what I'm going to do here is this I'm going to cut from here straight down for the curve this way straight Cut, 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 cut. Then cut the, the back panel out. So now I've trimmed out the shape of my of the Mazi A line dress pattern. So before I take off the back panel, I have to put half an inch for my shoulder slope allowance so yeah i will come up by half an inch i will just follow the shape of the shoulder slope to add this half an inch to it so now that i've drawn out my shoulder slope allowance my sewing allowance so i'm going to follow the shape take out this pin first Hold the shape and cut out the shoulder slope from here to there. So having trim out my shoulder slope shape, so the next thing I'm going to do is to trim out my back neck depth. So here is my back neck depth. I'm going to cut it out from here to there. So having trim out my back neck line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take off my back panel so I can focus on my front panel. So So this is the shape of my back panel and also this is the zipper allowance. So I'll take off my back panel. So this is the shape of my front panel. So now, remember my front panel, the, the ham hole curves inside beautifully. So I'm, I'm going to trim it from here, this way, this way, to this tip. Then also, I'm going to, for the front panel, the neck depth was four inches. So I'm going to trim out the neck depth as well from here like so I just follow the shape of the just trim from here follow the curve so so I follow the curve from there this way this way this way this is the front panel a line as a dress pattern you can use this formula to make a gun for for any body shape so but you can't use this formula for a kid this is for adults so i hope you like this tutorial 
if you do please give it a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you in my next video so for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now